everyone, and welcome to Podcast Nine and Three Quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half Blood Princess. Today, I'm going to talk about five times Harry Potter heroes acted like the villains. But before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Throughout the Harry Potter series, we learn that even the protagonists themselves have been known to act like villains. Here are five times some of the good guys show us behavior that doesn't leave much room to separate them from the baddies. Harry almost takes Malfoy's life. Harry finds a spell called Sectum Sempra in the Half-Blood Prince's potion book and reserves it for use against enemies. He later gets into a duel with Malfoy, who himself is a real piece of work for attempting to use the Cruciatus Curse, but Harry's use of Sectum Sempra leaves Malfoy lacerated with severe hemorrhaging. That is about to end his life. Snape arrives at just the right time to reverse the spell, although it still leaves Malfoy with permanent scarring. And what's bad is that Harry doesn't even really care about the fact that he nearly killed someone. He's more worried about Snape finding out about the Half-Blood Prince's book. Harry then goes to great lengths to hide the book and still intends to retrieve it after he's off of Snape's radar while never really pondering what he did to Malfoy or feeling guilty over it. Hermione assaults Ron. In Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, Ron finds out that Lavender Brown is interested in him, and he returns her advances. Hermione is upset that Ron doesn't realize she likes him too, and hides out in a classroom where Harry finds her. Um, Ron does act like a brat because he's angry Hermione had once kissed Victor Crumb, but that doesn't warrant physical mistreatment, which Hermione follows through with. After her anger gets out of control, she conjures birds that dart towards Ron and start pecking him furiously. They attack him to the point that Ron's arms get bloody and bruised, and he's later seen sporting cuts that the birds left on him. All because Hermione didn't like the fact that Ron kissed a girl when he wasn't even involved with Hermione to begin with. Hermione permanently scars Marietta. Marietta Edgecombe betrays Dumbledore's army when she thinks they have plans to overthrow Umbridge Hold on the school. While she's definitely a traitor, her point of view is a little more sympathetic since her mother works for the ministry and Marietta wants to save her mother's job while believing, like the rest of the wizarding world at the time, that Harry is lying. As soon as she betrays them, boils appear on her face that spell out sneak. Understandably, Marietta is distraught that she's been disfigured. Hermione reveals that she put a jinx on the parchment containing all the names of Dumbledore's army's members, and the one to break the secret would suffer this jinx. However, she never reverses this curse even after Harry is proven right and the ministry acknowledges this. Marietta goes on to live with this permanent disfigurement and it can't be hidden even when she wears thick makeup. Hermione doesn't regret this and Marietta is going to look like this for the rest of her life. Fred Weasley purposefully makes Dudley choke on his own tongue. In Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Fred accompanies his brothers and fathers to the Dursley house to take Harry back to the burrow. He spots Dudley there and accidentally drops a toffee near him, knowing that Dudley won't be able to resist eating it. The toffee, which Fred had experimented upon, turns out to be cursed to enlarge Dudley's tongue enormously. With Dudley eventually choking on his own tongue as it's too big for him to be able to breathe, this nearly ends Dudley until Mr. Weasley intervenes, but the whole ordeal is treated as a joke by Harry and the other Weasley children. Harry bullies Dudley because he's bored. In the opening of The Order of the Phoenix, Harry is disgruntled over being left out of the loop of the wizarding world after he fought Voldemort, feeling like nobody values his struggle. To blow off steam, he spots Dudley with his friends and relishes the idea of bullying Dudley in public. When they don't notice Harry's presence, Harry pursues Dudley and finds him alone and begins belittling him. Dudley had only kept to himself before this, but Harry wanted to make fun of Big D just for kicks. He goes on to mock Dudley's size, his mother's affection for him, and insults Dudley's intelligence. Harry even realizes what he's doing is mean, but still bullies Dudley because it gives him satisfaction of being in control. Considering Dudley had picked on him back in the day, Harry should have known how awful it feels to be on the receiving end. 
This is just to name a few times that our protagonists acted like antagonists, but there are many more. Make sure you comment your thoughts and opinions down below. As always, be sure to like and subscribe. Kay, love you. Bye.